On this video, we're going to operate functions pertaining to chart selection, information, and settings. First thing we're going to do is to load a specific chart. And to do that, on the upper corner, left, there's a chart menu, chart button, press charts, then select manage chart so after press manage chart a pop-up window will come out and then you need to select a specific chart for example this one and you need to press open chart so that specific chart we're going to be loaded now to arrange the orientation because on this one it was in north up you can select your prepared setting north up relative motion now so you can see the scale is larger so to select chart option if available or to select the proper scale to set the largest compilation scale indicated here with L so you need to press that in order for the egg disk to put it to an available scale prepared to you that chart you can still zoom it in like this or zoom it out because this one is over scale so you need to press L there you go next one is we're going to select chart display categories and layers in order for us to do that on the left middle part of the egg disk you can press display next is set then at the bottom is the chart display on chart display you can choose general again this is uh, categories and layers of the chart display so you can choose four shades for the contour but in order for you to show it on the screen you need to press save so it will change to four color shades to bring it back you need to untick the box and press save again so just observe before we press save it is in full four color now we're going to put it back to two color there you go so if you want to show these items under general just tick the box and then press save under chart display we can also select from standards and there are plenty options here to show on the chart like drying line fog signal prohibited and restricted areas but if you don't want to show it on the chart you need to untick and then press save on the others we have spot sounding submarine cables depth contour seabed you can also show on the chart the text like light description nature of seabed magnetic variation etc including the notice to mariner temporary notice pre uh, preliminary notice and other information from cmap now to obtain chart object information in vector chart First, you need to check if you are in a vector chart. Yes, you are in a vector chart. 
so you need to right click and then choose pick a report and then select object will pop out so if you want to know this where is the traffic separation if you click it will going to show the preview and it will highlight it to the chart it will going to select rack so it will show to the preview and it will show that this symbol is about the shipwreck if you're going to choose depth area it will also highlight depth area navigational system coverage next is we're going to adjust the track length of the vessel so first you need to go to log on the lower left corner then press nav nav log then go to voyage voyage we can see the log files in here you can set the period or the length of the track okay next is how to identify alarms and function status indications so all alarms are indicated on this lower right corner and the settings of the alarm you can see it here all the alarms that you set for example on chart alerts you already set safety contour alarm navigational hazard areas to be avoided and the legends is if uh, it indicates A, it's an alarm, if it's in C, it's in a caution, and W for warning. We can also receive alarms if the limits hits the shallow contours, safety depth, safety contour, and deep contour. And all of those alarms are going to indicated here at the lower right corner of the actis another set of alarm is like this actis safety contour so that is one of the example of the alarm so in order for us to cancel it you can click it by the mouse right click or alarm acknowledge another set of alarm can be seen into navigation parameter and ship route parameter so if you're going to set one at the gal mile and if you exceed one nautical mile XTD it will go in also to alarm and indicated here that you already exceeded XTD on your track and that alarm XTD indicates that you are far away more than one nautical mile from your desired track now to set anti-grounding safety contour depth Again, we're going to go to display oh sorry again on the left corner you need to press display set then chart display chart alert then under chart alert you can change the shallow contour, safety depth, safety contour, 
and deep contour by pressing or typing here at the keyboard then press enter so in order for that to activate you need to press save next is to open log table or voyage recorder now to do that again on the left center under the display press log then press nav log then under nav log there's a voyage so there is it the voyage recorder and again the last one how to select chart for display on the screen again on the upper left corner you need to press chart then you need to press manage chart then select the name of the chart for example this then press open chart there you go then to scroll it down scroll it up there so you need to press plus or minus so that's it operation function pertaining to chart selection information and settings